Um, good evening. I am. Um, my name is uh, Peter Emmanuel the first. I've never put a video out before on Facebook or any social media. This is my first time. I've come to the realization that it is very important that I begin to be a little bit more outspoken, a little bit more vocal, and to participate more in the discourse of what's taking place in the world and in society today. And for that reason, I've decided to go ahead and to utilize the means that are available to me uh, to make that happen. Of particular importance, what have greatly inspired me is the remarkable achievement of our president-elect and his ability to use the necessary means of the media in order to achieve the goal of the highest office, the most powerful country in the face of the earth, that of the presidency of the United States of America. But today, this is not what we're talking about. Today is the day the biggest day in the history of Christendom, the recognition and the celebration of Christ, the birth of Christ Jesus of Nazareth. And many people today are either going to be happy or unhappy because so many people have taken the message of Jesus and twisted it in another way. So many people have taken the name of Jesus and are making money of Jesus. There's no other people that are more enriched today than all of the false prophets, and I won't call them by name. You know who they are. They are on TV. Some of them are in Houston. Some are in Atlanta. Some are Africans. Some, or even the Africans. If you watch the African channel, everything is about selling the message of Jesus. And many people today think that this whole idea, Jesus wasn't concerned about gifts. First of all, let me tell you this story. The mother of Jesus was a baby man. She was an unwed woman. And they were looking for her to kill her. You see? And even from this unwed mother came this child whose message has become a record breaker. So what I want to say to all the people out there and to the people of the world is that if you're a baby man, if you a woman who had a child out of wedlock, you're no different than Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, the mother of Jesus. Because we don't have a marriage certificate for her, and they tell us that it's after she was pregnant that this man named Joseph took her in. And Jesus was a member of our tribe. He was Jewish. And then he went on to become Christ, and then he was embraced by the Roman Empire and he was made into God. He never said he was God. He never even said he was the son of God. It is they who said he was. But in honor of Jesus' birthday, we just wanted to share with you the humility and the humbleness because Jesus would have been humble. Jesus would not have a big house somewhere in Dallas and collect millions of money every Sunday and decorate his house in white and black. Jesus would not have a big church down in Houston and collect over a million dollars every weekend and never do anything to help the people that are in need. And Jesus would not be competing to see who got what present. That's why in this household, there are no presents. What we have is symbolic of the meal that we had prepared because we think of Mary being an unwed mother and being on the run and going to ask for a place to stay and she was refused in the inn because she was an unwed woman. So Jesus and his mother was turned away. So they would have been hungry. They would have not had anything to eat. That's why it is so important to us, this meal that we have prepared. We have a kosher ham over here. We have a smoked turkey. And you might say, why is it that I refer to this ham as kosher? Well, if you buy pork from a Jewish person, it's kosher. We bought this pork from a Jewish person. That's why we refer to it as a kosher ham. And the pork was a plentiful food that had been over the years 
that poor people survive on. So there is no way God could say poor people can't eat pork. So Jesus now, supposed to be born, a symbol of peace and hope for humanity. And when Jesus walked the earth, it was no different than how it is today. Same kind of imperial powers, subjugation of peoples, murder and mass killings. And Jesus said unto the Romans, my peace I give unto you. And so tonight, I want to give you my peace. I want to ask, there is no other time, because you see there is something about the turn of a century, and now we have the turn of a century and the turn of a millennium. And many crazy things have happened in the world when these transitions take place and the rise and the falls of empires and the destruction of people and the genocides. And no other time in this world do we need the peace of Jesus. So let us pray. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world Grant us peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, in your coming and in your holy sacrifice to stand up for the weak, the unrepresented, and to try to attain a home for the Jewish people against the Romans in Jerusalem, that you will be crucified and that you'll become the God of all Christianity, and that many will use your name in vain and make money in your name. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us and give to this humanity a sign that something will come, that peace will come, that tolerance will come, and that all those who today celebrate you in a paganistic way, in a materialistic way, let them know that what's important is not the toys and the gifts that they have received, but the love and the friendship of family, the ability to be together, the ability to have a meal, the ability to have safety, food and shelter, the way that your mother married, went in search of a place, Jesus, that she could give birth to you, and she had to give birth to you, where they keep the horses, where they keep the donkeys. That's where Mary gave birth to you, Jesus. And we ask you, Jesus, to accept our prayer, accept our sacrifice, accept our respect, and to protect us with your spirit from all the evil of man against man. And that in 2017 that you will strengthen our hand. Give us your protection that we may prevail against evil. Lord Jesus, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I want to thank you for coming into this world. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, give us peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Oh Jesus, stand with us, protect us, and look over us always. We will forever remember you, O oh Lord, until we come to see you that day when we see you, O oh Jesus. What a beautiful day when you washed our sins away. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Happy birthday, Jesus.